Hi guys and welcome back. Big day on Tyneside this morning as Anthony Gordon has arrived shortly after 8am for his Newcastle United Medical. Normally I'll be at the training ground gathering footage and of course getting all the content for you guys but if you watched either of my two videos yesterday you'll know first time that I'm quite ill at the minute. I believe I have stomach flu. I mean it's a nightmare to be honest. I can't even eat food. I've lost about half a stone in two days. So it's not ideal, and because of the fact we play that semi final on Tuesday night, I'm not going to go out and stand around for hours in the cold where it's just going to have a negative effect on my body, especially when I want to be well for the game. So, yeah, um, of course, I'll talk you through it all, but I'll just not be able to show any videos, unfortunately, today at the training ground. But first off, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to get down there, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy what you're watching as well, make sure to get down there and smash that like button. There's actually quite a decent possibility that he is not the only sign that's going to come in his window i'll explain the second sign in shortly and how it's a legit quite high possibility but we'll get through anthony gordon first so as i said before he's arrived at training ground shortly after 8 a.m of course he's been pitcher just there i like the fact it's getting done this early in the morning because the club will get his full medical done today so he's at the training ground now he'll get his first part of the medical done he'll go to the Hospital afterwards, get your second part of the medical done, and you go to St James Park and yeah, get all these media work sorted. So the club will quite literally just whiz through everything today. So technically, the, if the club wanted to, they could announce the sign tonight. I don't think the world. I think they'll normally wait a couple of days or so before they announce it, just to build up the anticipation. So yeah, I just want to quickly address Anthony Gordon straight away and how he's all sorted. Really, he's, he's doing his medical now. He should be able to pass everything fine, and then they'd be announced within the next day or two. On to the potential second signing for Newcastle in this transfer window. Now, Harrison Ashby's been a player that's been popping up quite a bit. This is supposed to be the right back that's going to come in and be Kieran Trippier's backup in case he gets injured. Now, the reason why this is actually quite a strong possibility now is because his contract expires in the summer where he's going to leave the club on a free if he doesn't want to stay at West Ham. Newcastle have already bid for the player once in the transfer window, but the club knows exactly what's going on with his contract so they'll go back in again towards the end of the window with a second bid and West Ham chances are they'll be forced to sell unless they believe themselves that they can keep hold of the player which I, I just can't see how they could to be honest because Newcastle's such a, a better move for the player West Ham have not been great at all this season I mean they've got a decent chance of going down so on paper I can't see why Housman Ashby would stay at West Ham in the summer so and West Ham want some money for him, they've got to sell him now. So I think Newcastle know exactly what they're doing. And I actually think that's quite a strong possibility of happening. Some further evidence to back up the claims that Harrisman Ashby actually missed his game for the West Ham Reserves team last night as negotiations are still ongoing between Newcastle and West Ham. So expect this one to, to pop up in the next day or two if Newcastle are actually going to get the player in. I think we've got a good chance though. I probably do expect us to bring him in considering his contract expires on the summer West Ham. Chance to get some money now. I can't really see them saying no, to be honest. So keep an eye on that one for sure. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. A bit of a short video, but again, I'm quite ill at the minute. So I can't, I guess, can't go for ages, I suppose. But let me know your thoughts down below. We've got Anthony Gordon doing his medical today. Everything should be fine with that. His medical should be completed today. And as for potential our signs, Harrison Ashby seems to be the one that's popping at the minute. But expect things to move quickly with that one. Thank you guys for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.